It's October and this is the Library Road Show. On the show today, music, mind-bending poetry, and makers. Welcome to the October edition of the Library Roadshow. I'm Mary Stein, and this is a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. October always brings us several signature programs. Our 44th annual Author Illustrator Series is all virtual this year, so whether you're a teacher, librarian, preschool center, children's author, illustrator, or even a parent, you can share Selena Yoon's wonderful creative spirit with your young students on Thursday, October 7th. And you yourself can participate in her workshop, Building a Culture of Readers, streaming live on Friday, October 8th, or for several weeks after via the archive. All of the details on how to register for these free events are included in the October source and posted in the online calendar of events, or simply call Children's Services at 225-231 3760 for more information. The Louisiana Book Festival, always one of our favorite events, returns in a virtual format this year. They'll stream over 30 programs featuring more than 70 authors and presenters from October 30th through November 13th. While I really hate to miss the live festival, I do appreciate being able to jump in virtually to hear from writers that interest me during the spread out schedule of events. Visit www.louisianabookfestival.org for all the details. The Baton Rouge Mini Maker Fair enfolds for its eighth year. We'll hear more about that in a moment. Other happenings in October include more live trainings from the Citizen Data Academy, programs on Spain's heritage in Louisiana, sculptor Corrado Parducci, genealogy, gardening, organizing, and more. Fall Frights continues, as do programs to tie in with the marvelous touring exhibition featuring the Negro Motorist Green Book at the Capitol Park Museum in downtown Baton Rouge. And you can catch the replays from the Mid-City Microcon online. It's all mentioned in this month's edition of The Source. Pick up a copy at any convenient library location or check it out online on the library's homepage, ebrpl.com. Free access to books, audio, and library resources are just a few of the benefits available to you when you get a library card. Need free access to a computer? You get that. Want free access to premium digital resources like Mango Languages and Lynda.com? You get that. Need to book a meeting space? You get that. Heck, you can even check out a telescope or use a digital printer with your library card. If you live in East Baton Rouge Parish, pick up your free library card from your local branch library today. Premium access to everything the library system has to offer is waiting for you. Our online learning platforms run the gamut from video instructions and interactive text to tools that you access from your phone. Our most widely known resource is lynda.com, now known as LinkedIn Learning. It's changed its name, but not its value. It's time to find out more in the digital download. Our popular online learning platform, lynda.com, has been upgraded to LinkedIn Learning. It offers over 16,000 on-demand courses available 24 seven and taught by experts in the field. You can find courses on technology and software such as the Microsoft Office Suite to Photoshop and more. You'll also find personal development and business courses. Over 60 new courses are added every week. If you have a LinkedIn social media account, you can choose to connect your profile to LinkedIn Learning so your course certificates and achievements are displayed. This can be useful for employers or colleagues to see. There is so much to explore in LinkedIn Learning, and it's free with your library card. Visit today in the digital library. This powerful platform is a terrific resource to help you ramp up your skills and job knowledge in so many topics. 
adding the completion certificates to your LinkedIn account makes it that much easier to market yourself. To find out more about LinkedIn Learning or other robust learning resources at the library, visit the online learning info guide on our website, ebrpl.com. All you need is that library card to get started. Let's shift gears and check in with Caleb Perkins reporting in from Beyond the Stacks. Your library loves live music, especially when it's outside on a beautiful day. We're in the outdoor plaza of the main library at Goodwood for a free concert with the Baton Rouge Concert Band. So sit back, relax, and let's check it out. <laughs> My name is Bon Lux. I'm the president of the Baton Rouge Concert Band. We are today at the uh, main library on Goodwood Boulevard here in the, the outdoor plaza. Uh, we're here because the concert band is presenting our fall concert. The concert fits this venue because it's uh, titled a, uh, a Night at the Library. So we're doing several numbers that have their theme from books that you find in the library. With the theme being a night at the library uh, and featuring several book themes, what we would expect the, the audience to hear would be, you know, you let their imagination run. Close your eyes, let your mind wander, and, um, you know, enjoy what literature has given us and been translated to music as and use that as a springboard to go back wander through the library find the books and um, enjoy it. our website is brcb.org or you can go to our facebook page uh, br concert band and uh, we post our concert schedule there uh, closer to the concert we post our uh, uh, the program for the concert and um, you can see pictures, you can find out if you're, you know, interested in becoming a member of the band, you can find out, you know, how you go about uh, contacting us. And then also look at other, so, at social media in general or uh, community calendars like Country Road. We really got our jam on with this one. To find out what's coming up next, pick up a copy of our monthly newsletter, The Source, or visit us online at www.ebrpl.com. And don't forget, tune in next month. I'll take you to another awesome library event. Thanks, Kayla. We love the partnership with the Baton Rouge Concert Band. It's a terrific way to introduce music to young audiences. And our relaxed setting makes this a stress-free experience for the whole family. And having this concert touch on literary themes made it especially appropriate for the library listeners. I look forward to many more concert dates. And if you want more music, remember that the digital library offers free goal music downloads and streaming music from every genre. And Quello Concerts brings you video concerts of all types of music. You're sure to find something to delight your ear and get your toes tapping. Stay right there. After the break, Andrew Tadman joins me for a chat right here on the Library Roadshow. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that free entertainment is good for us all. That's why we, make ebooks and audiobooks available for free through the Libby app. Grant free access to unlimited streaming music and video through Freegal, Canopy and IndieFlix. Get a library card. Get free entertainment at ebrpl.com slash digital library. Connor is struggling in school. Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. Why don't you understand me? I do. This is what it feels like for kids with learning and attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org. You're watching the October edition of the Library Roadshow, everything you need to know about your local library system. Now, earlier in the show, I mentioned the Baton Rouge Mini Maker Fair as one of our signature programs. Joining me now is Andrew Tadman, coordinator for Reference Services. Okay, Andrew, tell us about 
this year's fair? Okay, well, we're doing it a little bit differently this year. Um, it's going to be spread out over five days. So we'll be leading up to the big finale at the main library. Um, but each day before, there'll be programs and workshops going on at the other branches that have maker spaces. So Blue Bonnet, Jones Creek, River Center, Greenwell Springs. That's marvelous. So it's not just centralized here at the main library. We're spreading the making out yeah, throughout and, the parish. Yeah, we have these spaces. They're available all year, but this is just a way to highlight them. And in a way, this allows us to kind of launch our new badging program, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, so those are some of the workshops that they'll be offering. Um, badging for the 3D printer, um, laser cutter. Mm. Um, there's going to be cricket and fabric arts um, crafting going on. And also electronics take apart, which so, will be my favorite. Because uh, what's better than taking electronics apart when you don't have to worry about putting them back together. So that it does what it was <laughs> intended to do. I love that. And so all along, I mean, it's been years we've been saying makers, high tech, low tech, no tech, places in the library to come together and get your hands in it. Yep. So the by changing the format to a week long format and spreading it out throughout the parish, we can more directly involve participants from throughout the parish. I'm loving that. Yeah, it's good. You don't have to come to the main library to experience all that. Right. Don't we, always, <laughs> we always want you at the main library, of course, because we've been doing this Maker Fair for eight years. Yeah, this is the eighth one. It's hard yeah. to believe, yeah. but it's a great opportunity to meet people who have similar hobbies and similar interests as you. That's right. Then form your own co-op almost. Yep. Now here's our little sprocket uh, mascot for the Maker Fair. This year, our sub theme happens to be robotics, but as you said, it's not just fabric arts, it's fiber, it's take aparts though. Sprocket would like to take something apart. Um, there are some special live events planned for the day of the Maker Fair, the final day of the Maker Fair, which is, get, get me into that Saturday, October 23rd. 23rd. Yeah, so that's the grand finale. Mm -hmm. And we'll be starting that off with um, what's called a HeboCon. And Hebo is from the Japanese word for poorly made. So we're going to be making robots out of any all kinds of junk and bits and pieces so that we have laying around. So terrible robots fighting to the death at the yeah, main well, library. Yeah, well, the first um, program will be will be creating the robots, okay. and then we'll be following it up with robot fights I love to see it. which is the best of the worst robots. Right. So we kind of start off with a robot making and fashion show, as I like to call it, and then we'll end up with. Uh, I'm. I I love the idea of this Hebocon. And I think our parents, our kids, uh, our grandparents, who wouldn't love to see that? I remember Rock'em Sock'em Robots from way back. Yeah, and, and then I um, was going to say, after that, we'll have um, America's Next Top Robot. Okay. Which is where we'll be um, a bunch of local schools that have robotics programs will be bringing their there, um, those robots. are the true good robots that will be showcased. Yeah, those will be amazing. They'll <laughs> yeah. actually move and, and do the things you want. And we don't want them to fight to the <laughs> no. deck. We want them to, to, to remain beautiful and organized and efficient. All right, so we've talked about maker spaces. Now, there's something called badging that we're introducing now. That, can you tell me a little bit about that, that process? Yeah, so um, it's basically taking a short course so you learn how to use it's the really equipment. Short. Yeah, it's not very taxing, but just to make sure you know the kind of the safety rules and so and how things work. So once you've got that badge, then you'll be able to come in and, and book use the space. Book yeah, the you'll equipment. be able to use the machinery okay. on your own. Okay. And of course, we have the the big maker space downtown at the River Center branch, but we have these new small spaces. As you said, we've had the Blue Bonnet Innovation Space for several years, but now we're adding Greenwell Springs and Jones Creek into the mix. I love it. Yeah. How do folks find out more? Oh, they can go to batonrouge.makeaffair.com. And um, I should um, mention that on the final day, we'll mm -hmm. also be having a Maker Fair. Um, sorry, a Maker's Market. Oh, sure. Um, outside. You can actually meet some of the makers and see what they've done. Yeah, and also, um, it wouldn't be Maker Fair without our friends at the Knock Knock Museum. So they'll be here doing uh, workshops all day. So hands-on live participation here at the main library at the culmination of a week 
long of making. Now, because of COVID and restrictions, those final program, well, all the programs are registration required. Yeah, well, um, we're doing for the final um, day, most of it's going to be outside, so it shouldn't be um, too okay. registration heavy, Great. but for the workshops, um, at the other branches leading up to that, there will be limited spacing. And that spacing. makes sense because if you're going to be in it and learning it, there's only so many people that can be uh, participating in that active workshop. Thanks, Andrew. I am so happy to see how our local makers are making COVID lemonade in order to keep this annual series going. There are so many options for participation at the Maker Fair itself and beyond through workshops, online training, and these new badging protocols to qualify makers to use the library's maker spaces. And as a longtime fan of Junkyard Wars, you will see me at the Hebacon. After the break, Whitney Stewart, plus book reviews from one of our younger library patrons. All that and more coming up next on the Library Roadshow. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library believes that staying informed is good for us all. That's why we provide free access to the New York Times and other national newspapers online. Permit free access to niche magazines and articles through Press Reader. Get a library card. Get informed at ebrpl.com slash newspapers. Welcome back to the October edition of the Library Roadshow. Whitney Stewart is an award-winning author of nonfiction books for kids, from toddlers to young adults. She's trekked in the Himalaya with Sir Edmund Hillary and visited remote Buddhist monasteries in Nepal, all in pursuit of the next story worth telling. Whitney is the author of the best-selling Mindful Kids, 50 Mindfulness Activities for Kindness, Focus, and Calm, and her newest young adult book, Genomics, A Revolution in Health and Disease Discovery co-authored by her geneticist husband, Hans C. Anderson, M.D., the director of the Biochemical Genetics Lab at Tulane University Medical School. Whitney Stewart joins me now by phone to discuss this latest title. Whitney, introduce yourself and tell us how you got started as an author. I knew I wanted to be a writer when, in about fourth grade, my best friend and I created a handwritten collection of poems. I thought hers were better than mine, so I felt shy about my writing until a seventh grade English teacher assigned The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. I love this novel and was inspired to write a fictional response to it. I don't remember exactly what I wrote in that, but I just know I was fired up. Um, by 11th grade, I had started submitting manuscripts to publishers, but none of those was accepted. However, my first book proposal, a young reader biography of the 14th Dalai Lama of Tibet, was accepted by a publisher in 1989, and I went off to India to research. From then on, my book research involved adventure travel, which I still love to this day. What is this book about? Our book, co-authored by my husband, is about remarkable discoveries in the field of human genetics, many of which occurred after the Human Genome Project, coordinated at the National Institutes of Health, was completed in 2003. We present patient case studies to explain different inherited disorders. Some of these conditions are now discovered by newborn screening, others by innovative genetic testing. We also address direct-to-consumer genetic testing Precision Medicine, the Undiagnosed Diseases Network, Gene Therapy, and CRISPR-Cas9. What inspired you to write this? My husband, Hans Anderson, is a clinical, clinical geneticist who sees patients with inherited conditions. For decades, I'd heard about the type of work he does, but I've never researched genetics for myself. I really didn't, didn't know much except for what I picked up when I heard him talking. I pitched him the idea of collaborating on a genomics book. If he could find the time outside of his work as director of the Hayward Genetics Center at Tulane University. 
Medical Center. He agreed, and we got to work interviewing patients and genetic ex- experts. I admire Hans's work style because he's a physician who says, quote, each patient is unique, and the opportunity to hear their stories gives me inspiration for the future. What do you hope readers take away from your new book? Hans and I would like readers to come away with an understanding of the history, science, and ethics beyond exciting breakthroughs in genetic research. We also wish to inspire readers to study and go into the field of human genetics. Now that genomics has become a part of healthcare, more clinical geneticists are needed. How can viewers learn more about you? I have an author website under my name, WhitneyStewart.com. I'm also on Instagram as at WhitneyStewart2, the number two. Twitter as at WhitneyStewart2, also the number two. LinkedIn under my name and Facebook as Whitney Stewart Author. My husband's information is on the Tulane Medical School website and in the Children's Hospital New Orleans Physician Directory, on ResearchGate, and on PubMed under Hans C. Anderson. Thanks, Whitney. I also like your books, What's on Your Plate, as well as The Charming Catfish Tale, a Bayou story of the fisherman and his wife. Readers can find these on the shelves of their local branch library. It's now time in the show to check in with one of our younger patrons to find out what they've been reading at the library. Hey, I'm Nadia. Uh, I'm 10, and my favorite book was Who Was Michael Jackson? Many more famous singers had already performed. Now it was time for Michael's solo number. Michael was already one of the biggest pop stars in the world. But he was also he was but he was never satisfied. He wanted to do something on stage no one will ever forget. He wanted the audience to go crazy. My mama brings me to the library. When I come to the library, my favorite thing to do is do my homework and uh, read books that I've never read before. I love to see even the youngest readers in our community making good use of the library system. Stay right there. You're watching the Library Road Show. The East Baton Rouge Parish Library System believes that knowing where you come from is good for us all. That's why we grant free access to genealogy resources available through Ancestry.com. Make the vast historic resources of Heritage Quest available to you online. Get a library card. Get your family tree at ebrpl.com slash genealogy. Hello, my name is David Lodge, and I'm the genealogy librarian at the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. The genealogy department is located on the second floor of the main library in the special collections room, where history comes alive. Ancestry.com is by far the most popular and widely used genealogy tool in the United States, and for good reason. It's user-friendly and gives you access to a huge amount of genealogical data. You've probably seen the advertisements on television, but did you know you can access all of Ancestry's databases for free? All you need is your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. Just go to the digital library at ebrpl.com and choose Ancestry Library Edition. You will then have free and unlimited access to census records, birth, marriage, and death records, and even passenger lists from all over the world. You can then use all of this information to explore your family's unique history. Also, if you get stuck and need some help, the genealogy department is here every day to give you guidance in your research. You can reach us by email at genealogy at ebrpl.com or by phone at 225-231-3751 or just come by and visit. We are here on the second floor of the main library on Goodwood in the Special Collections Room where history comes alive. You're watching the October edition of the Library Roadshow, a production of your East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. I can't stress enough how wonderful it is to be able to freely consult with our friendly and knowledgeable staff as you climb your family tree. 
Even if you already consider yourself a power user of databases like Ancestry.com and Heritage, we are constantly adding new resources and features to help you expand your search. It's all available at the Main Library on Goodwood, and it's free with your East Baton Rouge Parish Library card. Whether with grab-and-go or in person, we want you to come to the library and explore crafts and making with us. Here at the Eden Park Branch Library, adults can come and explore their creative side through handmade projects. Let's check it out. Back Eye Poetry is basically where you take like magazine articles, uh, pages from books, or you could take newspaper articles, and you can re recreate a poem or a story. They would scan the document, and they would find words that stand out to them. They would circle the words, and then they would write them to the side, and then they'd go back through the document and, you know, choose more words that stand out to them. And whichever words stand out to them, those are the words they use to create the poem or the story they want to tell. Once you find the words that you want, the ones that you don't want, you erase them. And the ones that you do want, you go in with a permanent marker and you put a box around the words. And then the um, sentences that you don't want, you black them out. Basically, it's a craft. You know, a craft, you take something old to make something new. And um, like I said um, at the beginning, you could just take an old story, an old article, and recreate it into something that you like. The thing I enjoy the most is helping patrons, and I enjoy seeing all the new books that come out. What do you think make Eden, makes Eden Park stand out from other branches? Well, when it comes to all the libraries, you can learn something different. If patrons need help putting books on hold, we help them with that. We um, provide programming. We help them on the computer. Anything they need help with, we, we're here. For more resources on crafting and poetry, try out Creative Bug or some of our info guides on creative writing and poetry. And to find more programs like these, check out the Source newsletter every month or visit the events calendar at ebrpl.com. Loving that blackout poetry. This terrific blend of creativity and critical thinking can result in thoughtful and provocative works of poetry. And now for today's contest. Visit the library's Facebook page at facebook.com ebrpl. It's National Cookbook Month, so show off your favorite go-to cookbook along with your culinary creation. Or check out a cookbook from the library's huge collection. You can even visit A to Z World Food online for suggestions. That's facebook.com slash ebrpl. And while you're there, enjoy. We're not your grandfather's library anymore. What's coming up on the Library Roadshow in November? Attic Treasures, of course. Tune in next month, and I'll take you behind the scenes at another fun library program. Next month, you'll learn about another service offered at your local branch library. Thanks so much for joining us on the Library Roadshow. And remember, your East Baton Rouge Parish Library is open seven days a week at each and every one of 14 branches, plus 24-7 on the web. Check us out at ebrpl.com.